hello friends welcome to my channel and um for this water leaf soup i'm using water leaves i have some water leaves they are not much just a little i did not weigh it actually and i have some roasted cow skin okay we call this pomo and i also have some catfish okay and um this is it the catfish and i'll be using one of these just one okay and i also have hot boiling water i'm actually boiling some water over here it's not boiling but i think it's it's hot okay it's it's really hot right now and i'll just turn off the heat okay i've i've turned off the heat already and um i'll be blanching my water leaves okay this is what i'll be doing to this water leaves okay so into that i will pour in this hot water okay oh i'll be adding some salt okay just a little i'll be adding a little so this is not necessary but, um, i'm doing this because this is raining season and what i leave in rainy season is not usually sweet if it were dry season okay you notice i don't know if you notice that during the raining season what i leave is not usually sweet okay it used to have this kind of smell and taste but during dry season what i leave is very 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 delicious so i'm just trying to get rid of that smell and some kind of awful taste that comes with what i leave during raining season okay so that's that water is not at boiling point because i don't want to kill the nutrients just for 15 let's say five minutes it depends okay let's say five minutes it won't stay up to 15 minutes so i've added the roasted cow skin okay i'll be adding this small size of onion okay Just slice that into the pot okay so that is it you can see that and into that I'll be adding two stock cube okay two stock cubes and also some salt just a little bit of salt okay just a little i'll also be adding one of these um catfish i'll just add one okay it's quite big so i'll put that on the heat so i'll be adding in some water okay leaves okay with this okay i'll be cooling that immediately with cold running water okay or room temperature water that's what i'll be doing and i'll be back so this is the water lift okay it has been nicely rinsed and cooled completely so presently it's at room temperature it's not hot at all so i have some onion here and some peppers this some um, scotch bonnet pepper and Habanero pepper, also known as um, Atarodo and Shombo. I have about three slices. I have about four slices of this um, um, Habanero peppers. And um, I removed the seeds already. Okay? And they are nicely washed and clean. Um, this one is a very spicy pepper. So the seeds are still intact. Okay? And I've turned off the heat completely for... As you can see yeah so I still have some stock left okay 
that's okay that's the way you want it okay that liquid is perfect and enough for the cooking that's it and um i'll set that aside and we'll be slicing our veggies okay i'll be slicing this um lovelies and um i think i should go with this first okay it's quite easy to slice once it has been blended. Don't have any, there's nothing difficult or taxi here. You just go like that, and that is it. And I'm done. <laughs> if you want it um, kind of um, smoother, you can just go and chop it like that, but um. I think I'm I'm okay with the way it is. I don't want it smoother than this. Okay? But this is just the way you you do it. If you want it, you know, finer than it is. This is perfect, okay? It's okay for me like this. I like I like it the way it is, okay? So you it can be picky when you are kind of eating it. So that has been sliced. I'll move on to the peppers. Oh. <laughs> I prefer to slice the onion first, okay? Just like that. Nothing taxi to do. And we go this way again. And um, we are done. Just like that. Okay? Then good. Go like this. chop it finely also like this okay just go like that and chop it finely okay so that's what we'll be doing to we are done with the slicing of the vegetables so i'll quickly slice them and i'll be back okay that's it okay nicely chopped and um peppers okay like that taking out the seeds okay like that okay okay I forgot to show you this okay I'll also be using some Lucas bean okay that's it right there okay put in some palm oil okay into my pot into my pan and um uh, i won't blanch the palm oil i won't do that next i will add my the lucas bean we also call this iru okay Next, I will add my onion. So, next, I will be adding the peppers. Okay? So, I'm not going to be adding salt into this because I already have salt and stock cube in my um, fish stock. 
So I'll just fry this plain because I don't want the soup to be salty. So I think I'm okay with this. Then now I'll be adding the vegetables, okay? And I'm not going to be cooking this for too long because it has been blanched already, okay? So this will go in and um, that is it, okay? So immediately this is going in, I'll be adding my my stock, okay? The one we avoid earlier. Okay. Just like that, okay? Don't worry about the bones from the catfish. They are quite soft, you know, it has been smoked. The fish has been smoked already. So those bones are very, very soft and chewable. You don't have to worry about them. They are very, very chewy. Okay, but if you are the picky type, you can actually debone the fish. But I really don't mind. And um, our soup is ready, to be honest. The soup is already cooked. There's nothing else to be done here, okay? 